Matic Network Pump and Dump what next welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys i'll be sharing with you my thoughts on this big pump and dump in matic i'll be sharing with you the reasons behind it whether it was a pump and dump and um i'll be sharing with you my price prediction and what could be happening with matic next if you had bought it here and sold it at the at the top great it's probably been one of the best trades of your life uh, if you had bought it here and hadn't sold it and rolled it down it's not great but the worst is even worse if you had bought it right at resistance and had to get stopped out at the bottom i know a couple of people did i feel really sorry for you i know there's one guy in my group I, i'll share with you how i traded it i didn't buy the breakout and i didn't sell the top but there are people that were hodling matic since the pump and um, i was suggesting you know 560 to 570 could be a big resistance but let's actually get uh, get into the video and share with you what my thoughts are on matic so matic had a huge pump guys if you remember it's gone up almost 200 percent within weeks which is absolutely crazy you could you more than double your money within few if you, within a week or so where did i get in i got a matic trade here and um, that was for about 16 percent nothing nothing major and the reason for my trade if you have if you make make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i had been making this video on matic and i made this video about a week ago when it broke out i said this could be the resistance and it just carried on i did not buy it here because when something goes parabolic they can keep on going parabolic but something it will stop and when it stops it can get very nasty and again this is not stuff that i'm saying after the fact i've been posting about this in the group uh, i've been posting a lot of signals uh, on in the group exactly where i'm buying where i'm selling and the reason why i was doing that is because i made this video of a mini altcoin season since then guys uh, re recently i've not been posting as much and the reason is i thought there might be a bit of a pullback and i said i've been taking you know 50 to 70 percent of my position off this was posted yesterday you can check the date and time and i said you know it could be uh, it could be going down if it breaks out above breaks out above this resistance uh, most of my messages on facebook in our educational group again this is not a signals group guys you get a full trading course to find out exactly how i'm trading and get a full simple profitable strategy that you can learn and um, this 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 could be a great time to learn how to trade again because if we move slightly sideways this would be a great time to invest in yourself and if we do get a rally again you can make sure you profit from it so what what my thoughts were on matic was guys when it goes something parabolic this was the resistance and this is i posted it on 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 twitter as well uh, where i said could the matic top be in i posted this before going to sleep last night unfortunately i was asleep when this happened and i could not uh, take the profits and it, it it dropped hard i knew it could get nasty because you know people were buying and buying and buying and they were scared once it drops they uh, they fomo out and uh, one of the reasons for this could have been matic foundation uh, dropping matic onto you guys onto us retail traders they that, that could be a reason when a chart looks like this i usually avoid it and it's too risky for me like i said most of my messages on the facebook group twitter educational group people have been asking me about matic so and i always said i'm staying away from it but if it breaks above and you like it you could look to trade above but this could be a big big resistance and there are some proofs that you know matic foundation was moving a uh, huge amounts of matic into binance so where they could sell this could be the reason why this could have happened you could do your own research it's, it's, it's called ether scan you could go and check out uh, the big moves that's happened in in matic network and look for what's been moved from the matic network foundation so that could potentially be a reason for this dump but i think it could be just big whales driving it up getting people to fomo in and dumping it and then um, we'll have to see what happens because it's not just matic lots of the other coins have uh, had a similar dump coins that ran a lot uh, like the mat uh, binance ieos have dumped raven coin this was another coin i posted if you check the post out yesterday the two charts i posted was raven coin at resistance and was matic it was right at the top at 550 when i when i posted it so i don't know someone took profit exactly when i posted it and he's thanked me but again i could have been wrong it could have carried on but i knew that it, even if it carried on it was going to drop because nothing can be sustainable i've been trading for over five six years and i've seen it play out time and time again whether it's a cryptocurrency whether it's penny stocks i've seen it happen thousands of times thousand times again and it does play out so what is my thoughts on matic now 
if I was awake, I would have bought the Matic here, you know, 786 Fibonacci support and resistance level and our green moving average. That would have been a really good trade. If I if I was trading, I would have traded it a 50 percent trade. I'm really disappointed that I wasn't awake when it happened because that would have been a very, very good trade, a big bounce because, you know, when something drops, people, everyone sells and there's not many sellers and traders can buy. And there's someone in the group that bought at 170, 180. And I was like, you've done well because I've got a one hour long a video strategy explaining the RSI oversold bounces that you could look to play from support. And this would have been a really, really good trade. So my thoughts on Matic, you know, you could see it's pumped 100%. This is absolutely crazy. So what is my thoughts on Matic next? Um, I personally wouldn't look to be trading Matic because it's so volatile. If it dumps again like this, I could look to play a bounce. That will probably be the only strategy I play. Um, if not, if you're you know still in Matic, you could wait for it to touch the moving average or a trend change on the five minute time frame, you know, break of support like this, and then you could exit if you haven't exited. But if this was this was really a good opportunity for me to long here. If I was awake, I would have bought, would have bought Matic for a pump. And um, if Matic, you know, Matic again bottoms out like this, it gives us a structure like this. Uh, or Mat uh, Matic, let's have a look. Matic does something, uh, pulls back to my moving average, and it changes trend. Then yes, I could look to take trades in Matic, and you could look to take trades in Matic. But yeah, I wouldn't be buying and hodling. I know there's some uh, rumors coming out with Matic. I've shared some of them with you guys. If you if you guys follow here or Facebook group or Twitter or in the educational group, I've posted this. You know the the Matic. I mean the main person who made a lot of money from it is this guy, uh, the Matic Network uh, team. They're saying you know there uh, is fud and it's not really that they're gonna post a detailed uh, analysis and people have lost a lot of money, guys. It's really sad to see you know new people losing money and even in my fa free Facebook group, I'll leave the links below. People are saying, oh, keep hodling, Matic is gonna go up because they've literally could have made 200%, uh, which is life-changing money really, but they're down 180 or 70 percent and they stopped out, so they're down this much. So they keep telling people, oh, hodl is gonna be okay. But anyways, I'm not uh, bad mouthing anyone it's just you know you see it happen over and over again make sure you educate yourself whether it's through my education or you know just studying the charts writing down what's going what's working what isn't working anyways guys thank you very much for watching this video i've shared with you my thoughts on matic what what could have been the reason for this dump uh, whether it's a, it is a pump and dump to me it looks like a typical one like i've said uh, even if it's not it's just trader psychology it happens over and over again whether it's been planned or it's just how it worked out i've seen it play out so many times Times. and then I've shared with you the potential reasons why it could be a dump then I shared with you guys some trading strategies what I will be looking for Matic and if you ask me for a price prediction guys I'd probably say it will consolidate here I don't see it rallying up like this if it does rally up guys this will be the resistance and if it does rally up and breaks out and gives a pullback you could look to trade so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to end the this video my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on matic now will you still be looking to buy matic or will you sell comment below your thoughts guys and let's have a discussion and please be don't be disheartened guys try to learn a lesson from it and and try to avoid it doing again that's all we can do guys there's no point being disappointed i want to end this video with this message don't be disappointed guys again when i was new i've made mistakes i still make mistakes trading is very hard but don't be disappointed guys learn from it educate yourself to make sure you don't do it again and if you don't do it again there's no point beating up beating yourself up don't no point feeling disappointed think about risk management again don't invest anything you can't afford to lose because crypto is very very dangerous and still a very risky investment i'll leave that uh, end this video with that note so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much